didn't even know hmm. what. I'm having a problem with the connection. Please try again in a while. <laughs> I actually just took a picture and it's horrible. I didn't take it well. I I didn't do well. I think my eye was blurry. Hey guys, welcome to another video. How are you guys doing? If you're new, hey, do not forget to smash that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, mwah, thank you so much for coming back. I really, really appreciate you. Yeah. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the books I read in June. These, all these in June. And I'm so excited. Like I have some five stars. I have some four stars. I have some, hmm, hmm. <laughs> you know i'm actually super excited because my read this month was really really good honestly i'm happy and yeah i'm going to start with the motivational self-development book i read first these two so you guys remember from last month i didn't finish this one by tony tone i wish i knew this earlier lessons on love yeah i didn't finish it last month so i decided to finish it in june and i was so happy that i did and my review on it is still stands all the points you need to know are here in fact i feel like if you read this book you don't really need to read any other book on love because a lot of things she said here a lot of lessons oh i started annotating i don't know if you guys can see i started annotating then i was like if i'm going to continue this i'm going to annotate the whole book like every single page so it's not worth it let me just know that the old book is worth reading it talks about at the loving stage the dating stage and the healing stage so different stages of love she gives different tips on how to handle such uh, situations and also things you should know how you should value yourself so many things here and then i took up the second one real life lessons this is our debut and this is our second book and most recent one and i really really like this one so this one talks about confidence making friends and also making the most of your career so three of them are in this book and to be honest i resonated well with the uh making friends because i feel like i'm not really good with friends <laughs> i don't really have much friends and sometimes it makes me feel sad because i see some friendship online and i'm like okay wow but in book she make me understand that it's not really how it's supposed to be that some things are more important than show off and stuff like that and stuff like that yeah and also confidence oh my god i learned a lot here as regards confidence and and also career so i think these two books are small but mighty that's what i wrote actually in my review so read down that's it so now we can go to the the you know the the fictional books that i read the first book i read is the soulmate equation by christiana lauren you guys this book is amazing my ratings for this is five stars so it talks about dr river penna and jess jess is a single mom and she has some issues actually she has some issues she has a very very amazing daughter i really really love it so she had actually tried to be in relationships before but she decided to give up because she, she felt like she was wasting her time on these dating sites and stuff and then this dr river penna oh my god so he's nerdy and he's actually really cute he's always coming to take coffee at the shop that she always works with her best friend fizzy oh my god fizzy you guys i love fizzy so much she's a writer and she's very very hilarious like she's very dramatic so dr river has a company called genetically where they match you with your soulmate from your dna that thing is actually really cool don't you think fizzy somehow convinced jess to do it but you know jess didn't want to do it but that day i think she had a bad day that day so she just decided to take the test take the kit <laughs> the result was 98 percent match with who with dr river penna why am i calling dr river penna dr river dr penna so it was unbelievable and the company wanted to make a whole deal out of it because that match is referred to as a diamond match and they don't really have much people in the diamond category they have a lot of people in the 37 percent and some percents like that but 98 is the highest they've gotten so some things actually happened in the book that was crazy because you know you it's it's actually normal you expect something to go wrong but at the end of it they were still in love i really love this book i see nothing i see nothing bad about this book and i gave it five stars i really liked it a lot like it was just sweet understanding oh his relationship with our daughter oh my god you learned some other things i learned some other things from it really good really good the next book i read is this one twisted love you guys this was not part of my tbr 
this was not in the tbr video that you guys saw and it's because i never planned to read it but on instagram there was this girl a bookstamagra a bookstamagra huh, bookstagramma <laughs> that was actually going to read this so i was like hmm, okay you want to start with twisted love since everybody else has read this book let me just hop on the trend right so that's how i picked it up we we're supposed to body read but i ended up reading it alone because she had some other things she had to undo and she had some other books she was reading with body reading with other people i don't know how people read more than one book at once i cannot do it i feel like i need to give you my attention let me digest it let me live in you yeah i'm talking about something else so yeah so this one talks about alex and ava alex is ava's brother's best friend so it's brother's best friend trope but alex is giving me mafia vibes he's, he's rich at a young age and he's dangerous he has gone through a trauma some trauma in life yes and he's seeking revenge so he doesn't even have time for love he doesn't even want to love anyone and the plot twist was actually crazy in the book and there's uh ava too went through something traumatic but it later was found out in the book who was the main cause of what she went through and also both of them coming together and you know alex doesn't want to be in a relationship but eva wants him anyway and there were so many quotes in this book oh my god i was just like Shah! there was a part where they kidnapped eva and alex went there and it was all pew 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 <laughs> It was actually really cool. Mm. I gave this four stars because there were some parts that didn't resonate well with me. I was like, oh, why would you do that? Alex has this, I, I wrote it down, hypertemesia. It's a problem where you keep replaying, you can vividly remember details that has happened. So imagine that kind of person experiencing something really, really bad in his childhood and then he's always replaying it in his head. So he's messed up, he's fucked up, but at the end, I liked how he went all the way to, I forgot where he went to, to meet Ava and it was like, then I'm going to stay here until you accept me back and yada yada yada. It was actually really cool. I enjoyed it. And this book is actually very, very spicy. So if you want to read a spicy book, Twisted Love, mm, I just started Twisted Games for this month, July. So the next book I read is by Colin Hoover and Turn Fisher, Never Never. <laughs> this book was giving me disney vibes okay it was giving me something that i was watching in, in an animation kind of and i love animations so yeah i obviously loved it i gave it four stars it talks about charlie and silas okay silas is the guy charlie is the girl i thought charlie was the guy when i was you know when i was thinking about it but charlie is the girl and silas is the guy so the two of them forget who they are and also forget that they are in a relationship with each other every 48 hours every 48 hours that is so creepy you guys so they end up finding clues on how what is happening what is causing them to forget each other what is happening you know all those kind of vibes so everything throughout this book i was just so tensed i was i was sucked in the suspense was much i was like what is gonna happen but i really really like silas character because it was so sweet even when things were not working out like when charlie would be like who are you i don't know you don't touch me stuff like that and he was still trying his best to love her show her what love is and she was just so freaking mean <laughs> i don't like the way she was mean but later a character changed when she started when they found out what was wrong and stuff like that but it was actually really nice seeing how determined they were to remember what happened the funniest part is the same thing happened to their child <laughs> Okay, you guys, but you can imagine how it feels like to forget every single detail. Not just to forget the person you love since childhood. That's the funniest part. They, they've been in love since childhood. But I feel like the reason why they were forgetting their memory was not reason enough. You understand? Like, it was kind of cliche. That's why I said it gives me very godmother spell kind of vibe. Because when you get, when you read it, you understand what I'm trying to say. But, but it was a very, very good read. I enjoyed it. Four stars. Four freaking stars. Just killed a mosquito. <laughs> this this was my second five stars. Karisoto is back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Oh my god. I don't know how to explain it. Okay, so it talks about Karisoto. Karisoto is a tennis player and she has, I think, 25 grand slams. And she has gone into retirement. Even before she went on retirement, there were some things that happened. Her father stopped coaching her and then she had to do it on that coach. And you know how it feels like your father has been coaching you since when you were young and that kind of thing. So the book tells you about her life, how she won all those grand slams, what happened. And also now Nikki Chan is about to break her record. And so Carrie was like, no, 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 no. Oh my God. My battery is empty. <sighs> okay guys so the angle changed because i changed my battery 
Oh my god, I don't know. Sony ZV One's batteries are very, very annoying. Very, they die within how many minutes? How many minutes? Oh my god, I have four batteries. This is two that I charged, hundred percent that are dead already. Anyway, Nikki Chan is about to break Karisoto's record, and Karisoto wants to come back and you know break a record, then also break another record because Karisoto is now older and no woman in tennis has ever done that you get there's also love in this book and it's so nice like this book made me cry you guys because seeing our relationship with our father oh my god oh my god guys made me cry i was so happy but it was worth the read i never knew that i love historical fiction but tell on jackie's read i've opened my eyes to it and this book is worth it worth it 100 percent the next book i read is the thing around your neck by chimamanda ngazi adichie yeah she's a very 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 known writer in nigeria and i think over the world also this book is a compilation of short stories and these short stories kind of depict different problems basically the title the thing around your neck so something that's choking you yeah so i i i didn't really like this book to be honest because i don't know this most of the stories were just sad but at the same time i was not feeling i was not really enjoying myself i i could not connect to any of the characters i didn't really care about any of the characters i was just reading it because i wanted to finish the book and i was just reading it because i wanted to see what happens and obviously as with short stories it stops and you have to oh imagine what will happen next you know then another story starts yeah but i loved some stories in it i'm not gonna say i don't like the part where this girl went to abroad and another thing is i don't know is every nigerian's mindset is to leave nigeria to another country maybe i'm um, i will i don't know so i gave this 3.5 stars i'm still going to try to read another one of our book half of a yellow sun or any other book i can lay my hands on but for this one it's not really my favorite but i like her because she's cute that's a stupid reason for like it so <laughs> but yeah i like her oh my god <laughs> seven days in june by tia williams oh my god you guys this book is so freaking good I would not lie in the beginning of the story i was lost i was confused because there were so many things i was like what exactly is happening but as i continued that's why you notice i didn't even really tap the beginning but as i continued i re i started to understand and then i was sucked into the story so it talks about shane and ava shane and ava are writers but they were friends in their childhood and they were kind of like soulmates but in a traumatic way I don't know how to explain it. Both of them were going through different, really, really difficult times. You need to check out Trigger Warnings before you read this book because it involves drug, it involves so many things. So they were not they were not ready for each other at that time, but they were still together until some things happened. And then later in 15 years, when Hava, she's writing her 15th book of a series, while shane he's just cruising you know this writer i'll just come and write four books and blow up and he, he, he will just go into hiding again so that's kind of life he has but he now felt like he wanted to come back to Eva and apologize for whatever happened but Eva herself didn't even know what i'm having a problem with the connection please try again in a while <laughs> oh my god i was like this again So Eva was having, uh, what the flip am I saying? The chemistry between them was just, ah, the chemistry was just there. Like, it was so freaking strong. I really liked it. And I like, uh, Audrey, Eva's daughter. Oh my God, that girl is the smartest little woman being I've ever seen in my life. No, I didn't see her, but I've ever read about in my life. She's really, really, she's smart. She understands her mom. She, she's considerate. A little girl ah i really really loved seeing their relationship bloom so many things changed in their life like the way uh hardships for blacks you know the way stereotypes for black yeah all blacks are looked at like okay you go to prison and then it's just so fighting that stereotype yeah this book is really good i really liked it i gave it 4.5 stars so this is where it went for me downhill for me because then i picked up how to kill your family by Bella Maki. Guys, let's talk about a lady named Grace. And in the beginning, she's in the prison, but she's in prison for a crime she did not commit. So now she's writing a book in the prison about how she killed her family, but she was not even caught 
for that so it's kind of weird i was enjoying the story in the beginning until when they revealed to me why she's killing her family and i feel like it's not really it doesn't really re resonate well like imagine you are a cousin and then she has to kill you for that stupid reason you, that was what i was i was i was actually pissed off and again it is said to be a dark humor or like a comedy kind of book I, nothing was funny i anyway i dnf'd i dnf'd at page 80 and i don't think i'm going to be picking it up again if i ever do an on all this is one of the books i'm going to on haul i gave it one star because i did not enjoy it. like when she killed her grandparents i was okay with it i was not okay with it but i was still invested in this story i still wanted to see how it's gonna work how she's gonna kill every other person then when she's about to kill her cousin and then i realized that her cousin doesn't even he has even cut off himself from the family and he deserves not to die but she's still about to kill then i was like nah i cannot read it because i feel like uh, the reason is crazy i don't want to spoil it but if you want to read it you can read it but in case you don't want to read it, you want to know why so i'm going to put spoiler here so you can skip this place okay so the reason why she's killing her family is because her father and her mother had an affair her father is very very rich very very rich freaking rich and he has his own family he has his mother he has his mother he has his own family he has his wife and a daughter so when gracie's mother was pregnant with gracie he told her i'm not going to be responsible for this i'm not going to be responsible responsible for this child then gracie's mother was like mm, i'm going to give it to the child i'm not going to get rid of it and he, he left he told her okay fine you've made your choice and i'm going to leave and he left i feel like in this kind of scenario he had already made his intention clear that he's not going to be responsible for it so when gracie started to grow up and she, the mother started to lie to her that the father is busy traveling around the world he, she even took gracie to the house not inside just outside to see the gate the house is like a mansion so gracie started feeling so angry because she and her mother were suffering so later her mother died that, that was when she now sparked and she wanted to have revenge and she now decided to kill all to kill her father's uh, parents uh cousins uncles and aunts like i feel like everybody has been through rejection if everybody takes rejection this way then the, like the best revenge would have been for to, in my own opinion the best revenge would have been for her to make it in life then show her father who like show off that she's she's somebody without him that's the best thing or maybe she, the, if the reason why she was killing her family is because maybe they killed her mother then i will understand but they didn't do they all they did was reject you Everybody has gone through rejection in their life. So I feel like the book is just, I don't know, I, I DNF'd, so yeah. The next book I chose was this one, Conversation with Friends by Sally Rooney. This is my first Sally Rooney book and I DNF'd at page 163. So the book talks about um, two girls, Francis and Bobby. The two of them are poets, but, but Francis writes the poet while Bobby and her, they do the spoken words together which is actually cool and then there's another lady named melissa melissa is writing something about them and nick is melissa's husband so they are woven together kind of so bobby is gay i like bobby because she was she was free she was herself but then at one point i was like what is wrong with her she started acting weird mostly at the pool side like it was so weird but guys i could not really connect with any of the characters this book was going to give me like i wanted to still even know what would happen so they are the book is in two parts part one and part two so is the part two i decided no i hate i ain't gonna do this see this is part two i ain't gonna do this so i stopped i ain't gonna do this i don't want to know what's gonna happen i still want to know you know i might still pick it up to read one well to just see but i was not enjoying it there was no point to it i mean francis said it's francis pov uh mindset is weird <laughs> And I don't understand how that is conversation with friends. This is more like destroying another person's life kind of book. I decided to pick up a book that wasn't even my TBR at all for June. I was going in a slump after picking two books and both of them were giving me <laughs> vibe. So I decided to pick up this one. <laughs> smart. This book is smart and smart and smart. Smart. This is Scandalized by Ivy Owens. I later found out that Ivy Owens is Lauren from Christiana Lauren, you know, the so many question on Christiana Lauren, yeah, Lauren from that. So she's just using Ivy Owens as a pen name. So I was like, wow, but this book was really small, like the spice in it was crazy. I would say it is 80% spice and 20% plot. The plot gone, there was no plot twist, the plot was just straight. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I still enjoyed it and I gave it five stars because it made me happy. Like I'm coming from a slum, almost slum to this. So it talks about Alec and Gigi. Gigi and Sonny were best friends in their childhood. Now Alec is Sonny's brother. 15 years later, Gigi met Alec at the airport, but she didn't know that Alec is now a celebrity because she's a journalist and as a journalist, she was actually chasing a story which uh, dealt with rape and drugging of people and stuff like that. So trigger warnings before you watch it. Ah, watch before you read this. So Alec is a celebrity. So meeting Gigi at the airport and Gigi called him Alec. So he was surprised and shocked that nobody has called him Alec in years because everybody was calling him Alexander Kim, Alexander Kim. So he knew, he knew quite alright that she didn't know who he was. So he was so happy to be himself, to be normal. And then that same day, they... Mm, 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 and, <laughs> Gigi has always had a crush on Alex. So it was crazy. It was smutty. It was... Mm, like, no, 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 no. I wish I was... I wish I was annotating while reading this. Because it would have... I would have been so happy. But I could not annotate. I don't know. Because I just picked it up thinking that it might not do anything. You know? And then I continue reading and I was like, let me just finish. I will read it again. And when I read it again, I'm definitely going to annotate it. So if you don't mind reading a book that is 80% or 90% smart, this book is for you. Scandalized. Okay. Really good. So that was my own. Why is it I always say rubbish at the end of every video? That was all I read. So I read a total of 11 books this month. June. In June. In June. Because today is the last day of June. So that's what I keep saying this month. So yeah. I've already uploaded my July TBR. So you guys please go watch it. Please. Go watch it and tell me which one I should read first. Although I already am reading Twisted Love. Uh, Twisted Games first. Because this is about Bridget. One of the friends to to <sighs> Ava to Ava I keep forgetting names when you read a lot I don't, I don't know and I wonder how people read six books in two days a friend of mine says she reads six books in two days how how tell me how show me to the world I wanna live my life with you so you guys, thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys later let me know what you rated these books and let me know if you're going to read any of them and i'll catch y'all later jesus what's her name I oh shit i can't believe i forgot the name oh i i missed one part there was a the uh, the next read i chose the next read seriously i thought i just changed this battery